morning. I'm Casey. This is Keystone Harris. We're going to talk about all things unique to the state of Pennsylvania. Today's episode is going to be about a brief history and fun facts about the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to Keystone Curiosity, where we explore the life, land, and culture of my beloved home state. Pennsylvania has something to offer everyone, and is living proof that the world is a beautiful place. You just need to take the time to find it. On July 8, 1933, the NFL would grant expansion franchises for the Eagles, the Pittsburgh Pirates, who would later be renamed to the Steelers in 1940, and the now defunct Cincinnati Reds. The team would be a replacement for the defunct Frankfurt Yellow Jackets, who had gone bankrupt in 1931. After paying an entry fee of $2,500, the founders Burt Bell and Lud Ray would name their franchise the Philadelphia Eagles, drawing inspiration from the Blue Eagle of FDR's National Recovery Act. Ray would become the Eagles' first head coach as they played their opening game against the New York Giants on October 15, 1933, in New York City. They lost 56 to nothing. In true Philadelphia fashion, they spent their first 10 years with a losing record, never winning more than four games in a single season. In an attempt to help even out the up-and-coming talent across the NFL, Burt Bell would introduce the revolutionary idea where teams would select college athletes in an inverse order to their final standing positions of the previous year. This idea would be adopted, and the first draft would be held in Philadelphia on February 8, 1936, making Bell the father of the NFL draft. The Eagles would again make history on October 22nd of 1939, when they played against the Brooklyn Dodgers in the first ever televised game in the NFL. They lost 23-14, but the game would see the beginning of a new era, where football would gain in popularity as it reached more Americans. The strange history of the Eagles would show up again in 1943, when manpower shortages caused by World War II made it impossible to fill the roster. This forced the team to temporarily merge with the Steelers, forming the Phil Pitt Eagles, aka the Steagles. This would be the first year that the franchise would have a winning record, finishing the season at 5-4-1, at the end of which the Steagles would dissolve. This would see a change in fortunes for the Eagles, and they would make their way to their first NFL championship appearance in 1947, where they squared off against the Chicago Cardinals. They would unfortunately lose 28-21, but would get a second chance the following year. This rematch in 1948 would see the Eagles with home field advantage. The game would be held in a blinding snowstorm, with the only touchdown coming from a five-yard run from running back Steve Van Buren, leading the Eagles to a 7-0 victory and their first championship. They would successfully defend their title in 1949 with a 14-0 victory over the Los Angeles Rams, holding their offense to a mere 21 yards on the ground. The Eagles would show up again in the NFL Championship game in 1960, where they played against the Green Bay Packers under the leadership of Vince Lombardi. The 17-13 victory would be the first and only time that Vince Lombardi would be defeated in a championship game. As the years went by, the Eagles would experience the ebb and flow of success that comes natural with any sports team. They would make three separate appearances in the Super Bowl after the NFL had changed the name of the championship game, winning against the Patriots in Super Bowl 52 and making their fourth appearance this year after the 2022 season. Despite their inconsistent record over the years, the team has enjoyed some reliability from its fans. There are few people in the United States who would argue about the dedication of Philadelphia fans. The Eagles fans invoke no exception to this, as they've thrown snowballs at Santa Claus in 1968 and having even been so disruptive at their home stadium that a temporary courtroom was set up in 1997 at Veterans Stadium, with an average of 20 suspects appear in each game. This would last until 2003, when the Eagles would relocate to their current home here at Lincoln Financial Field. Despite the rowdy nature of some fans, the devotion shown win or lose by the city has remained consistent. From 1996, the franchise has boasted a 99.8% fan attendance, making it the fourth highest in the NFL as per a study done by ESPN in 2008. This has continued as the team has sold out every single home game since the second game of the 1999 season. It is from these fans that the Eagles are cheered on. With deafening noise from the stadium to disrupting the neighbors from the living room, it is these fans that see a challenge when you grease the poles and take it personally when you think you're cute by dressing up Rocky in your team's sh colors. It is these fans that are the life and soul of Philadelphia that sing with passion and meaning, watch our eagles fly. It is these fans that make the eagles who they are.
that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As per the usual, if you have any suggestions on what I should talk about next, feel free to leave them in the comments below. In the meantime, hit that like and subscribe so that you can receive updates on anything else near Philadelphia or all across the state of Pennsylvania itself. But in the meantime, fly eagles fly.